hello guys I am back with another video and as I got a good response in my last video which was about the file inclusion room uh, so I, I showed you how to solve these uh, challenges of the file inclusion so that video was speci specifically about the local file inclusion and as I got a good response and I see like lots of people are really struggling with that uh, with the challenges here so I thought why not making a video on a uh, remote code execution so remote code execution would be the remote file inclusion so we will do remote file inclusion to do the remote code execution and the challenge is about it saying like gain RC that means gain remote code execution in lab playground and they're giving the URL of the site in which site we're gonna do that with RFI means with uh, a remote file inclusion to execute the host name command what is the output so they want us to get the host name so how we will get the host name we will get the host name through that website so yeah so that would be by RFI so I will show you how to solve that one so before we go to the solution we need to get some idea about what is like remote file inclusion we saw how uh, LFI works and I showed you how to solve all the LFI problems if you didn't see you can uh, check my last video and see how we how I uh, solved I showed you like step by step how to solve the problems so let's go to the challenge this one so we will talk about we will uh, talk a little bit about the remote file inclusion so here is remote file inclusion so remote file inclusion is a technique basically so where we include remote files into vulnerable application and one of the requirement for RFI is allow URL F open. So there should be we, we, we need to check the URL of the website and we can we have to see like is there any get method or is there any way they are trying to get a file through any website or through any other link. So we will use this one, we will exploit that one and we will get the access. We will gain how uh, we will do the remote code execution so yeah let's get into the machine kali machine and i will show you how to do that and i will uh, break down all the parts so this is the website i have i got my try hack me vpn up and running and this is the website and they said to go to the playground and remember they want us to get the the challenge is about rfi execute the host name command so with the host name command we have to get the host name of the from the website like what host they have so we need the host name through the rfi so let's go and see so we can see here it's pretty kind of like a text box text entry we can put anything here so we have a text entry box and we can we can uh, start our approach the way we did on the lfi like for the local file inclusion dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash and see how it responds to that one so let's do it so if we put dot slash dot slash uh, like the last time dot dot slash dot slash etc slash flag one we are doing this one for uh, for uh, to see like how the website responds we don't we already know this is not about local file inclusion so this is not gonna work but we can see like how things working how the url is responsive so let's click on the include and we can see we got a error uh, this was very natural because this uh, this website is about remote file inclusion so local file inclusion won't work on this one so we can see what happening here we are seeing like they are asking playground.php then they are looking for a file and they are looking through some something like whatever we put here so they are looking for a file so we will we have to put our payload here so they can get our payload through this query and execute inside this website so we need a file it could be a text file or any kind of file where we will have our payload and we will get our that payload file through this through this file equals this url for this url we have to get that file so for this one we have to, what do we have to do we have to generate a payload first so for generating a payload uh, we will uh, write a shell 
on PHP. So let's get into uh, get into the terminal. So this is our terminal, and we, we I will go to my download folder. So if we go to uh, CD downloads, okay. So here here I will create. Let's create a payload. So we're gonna payload like nano payload dot txt. So we are creating a txt file, and we are opening with with the nano. So nano is the editor. So we are going to include our payload in this payload file. So now we're gonna write our PHP code. Let's write the PHP code. So PHP code. Uh, so we will write the PHP code for getting the host name and we, we will be using this one as our payload so let's do it like php then we're gonna do the echo shell then execute and we're gonna put host in here as we're looking for the host name So I'm gonna break down this code. So it's a simple PHP payload. So what we're saying is a, basically this is the starting of PHP. This is the ending of PHP. And we are missing a semicolon here. Let's put a semicolon. And we are saying echo to show the result of this code. As you already know, uh, we use like echo is same as like print, printing something. So we are using echo to print this thing so what does this thing mean this thing means saying like shell execute host name so this code will bring the host name and we will print this with echo so that's our payload and we're gonna save this file by control x uh, you can see yep so we're gonna save this y we're gonna save this as it is so if we say ls and you can see we got the payload and if we cat this one get payload and you're gonna see this is our code so how we can get the code here in this folder so we will get this folder through a website so we will uh, we will uh, start a server on this machine and on this by that server we will get this file here so I'll show you how to do that so we're gonna use Python 3 to start a server so this is the, actually the code and we will start at uh, port 4444 so here we are starting uh, a python server in port 4444 and if we hit enter you will see we got a server running so server this server is running on our uh, local host and the local host for the local host we, if we see we can see our ip so let's go to a new tab and if we press if config so we can see this is our IP address so select copy selection and we will put the IP address right here after the file parameter and we will add a HTTP so uh, I don't know how to zoom this thing because this is the address bar I cannot zoom in so what we, I am doing is uh, in the URL after the file equal I'm putting the like my IP address of the Kali machine and this is the IP address and then we're gonna mention our port number where the Python server is running so that is like the 44444 and our file name is payload.txt so we will mention the file name as well payload.txt and if we hit enter boom here you can see we got the so through this file parameter we have we have uh, gone to our uh, local host the python server that is running and we are getting our payload.txt and what our payload.txt is saying to get the host name and we got the host name right here so this is the flag if you submit this one this is the flag so by getting by going to our website and uh, getting the file of payload.txt is showing this one so that's the remote file inclusion 
so what we did we did uh, we had a file that was remotely like the, the, it was in a remote location it was in our uh, Kali machine but we went uh, we we get that file by this this website so by this website we got our file so we, we remotely executed our payload to this website and we got the host name so this is the host name and that's how the RFI works actually and this is the solution of the problem uh, if you have any question you can ask in the comment uh, I will try to answer and if you like the videos make sure to subscribe and uh, yeah uh, I will uh, upload more uh, problem solving videos uh, if I get enough response uh, happy hacking thank you